I got all of this for $500. You guys, that is only $56 a month for nine months. So if from the first month you find out you're pregnant, you only save about $60 a month, this is the baby haul you will be able to provide yourself if you follow the same pattern that I did. And today I'm just going to walk you guys through exactly what I bought with $500 for my first child that is due in February. So we have about a month and a half left. And this is just a shopping haul of the baby things I've gotten that are the bare necessities plus a few additional things that I have done for under $500. Like I said before in the video, that's only $60 a month that you need to save if you start saving from the first month through the ninth month. So let's get started. So first I want to start with the most expensive thing I bought, and that is our car seat. I don't know if you guys can see it. This I bought brand new. It was about $100, so it was one-fifth of my investments. I bought this brand new because regulations on car seats change so frequently and when you're buying one used, you really don't know whether or not it's been beaten up in a car accident. So I felt like it was really important for the safety of my child to just get a brand new car seat and make that one of the, the big investments I was going to make. This is the most expensive thing I purchased. On the car seat, you can see I have a car seat canopy. Online, they retail, I think, at $40, $20 or $40. I got this at Goodwill for $0.99 cents because it had a stain on it, and the stain was over in this corner, but it's gone now. So that was a great deal, um, and that's one of the things I want to talk to you guys about. I truly think that for your child, if you really are trying to budget, you shouldn't be afraid to shop at thrift shops. You're definitely going to find some really good deals there. Thing you're going to see in my haul alone a ton of things that I've gotten from Goodwill and hand-me-down shops that are 90% off their original retail price. And most of the things I've gotten have been from thrift shops, which brings me to the second place where I think that I saved a ton of money, and that is with baby clothes. Now, if you've been to any kind of retail store, for baby clothes, um, in Walmart they sell for maybe eight to ten dollars an outfit, and then you get into Gap and places like that, and they're up to thirty dollars an outfit. And then there's even more expensive places that have forty to sixty dollars an outfit for something your child is going to wear for one to three months. So for me, I just felt like it was worth it to go to a bunch of Goodwills, scan their baby clothes, which in my area and the areas that I shopped were eighty to 90 cents. So it was 80 to 90 cents per clothing item that I bought for my child. Total, I spent about $40 on clothes. These are all the newborn zero to three months clothes that I got. So there's probably about 20 different clothing items in here. Everything from sleepers to onesies to pants, you name it, it's in this pile. I also have a great mother and mother-in-law who did purchase us some brand new baby clothes. So I have about a dozen outfits ranging in different sizes that are brand new. But a majority of the clothes that my child is going to be wearing the first year of their life are going to be used. With that being said, I've gone through, I've washed all of them, and I was shopping gender neutral, which isn't exactly easy. If you do know the gender of your child, we don't. We're saving it to figure out when the child is born. But if you know the gender of your child, it gets a lot easier because most Goodwills separate them into boy clothes and girl clothes. And you can really just get a huge haul of adorable clothing. You're going to find brand name clothes at Goodwill. You just have to search. And I got tons of really good quality clothes. Here's my pile of three to six month clothing. As you can see, there's even more three to six month than there is zero to three month. So we have quite a few of these clothes. And then we have six to nine month clothing. This is a little smaller of a selection, but I figured it's about half a year away so I can still be stocking up during that time. And here's the 12 month clothing, which again is even smaller, but that is an entire year away, so I'm sure I'll have plenty of time to stock up more on that. 
Now to go along with clothing, I've also gotten hats. These were 50 cents a piece at Goodwill. And at the same time, I also got a bunch of baby bibs. I don't have the baby bibs here. I already have them in the kitchen. But again, that's something that you can get really cheap from Goodwill. Then we just have some sock sets. I think these were 40 cents a piece. And a pair of baby shoes that were 99 cents. Now aside from Goodwill, I also went to a thrift shop that is really common in the U.S. called What's Upon a Child. And it's essentially a store specifically for baby and children items that you can get name brand items about 30% off. And this is a Baby Bajorn baby carrier. And I got this, it retails at about $40 on Amazon and I got it for $18. So I, so I got it for about 50% off there. It's practically brand new, very clean. I've washed it, it fits well. I'm excited to use it. Now this one was an even better deal. This was $2 from Goodwill. I believe it retails at about $30, and this is a J.J. Cole um, baby carrier that goes on like this. So again, this is something that I just found at Goodwill. I did start shopping at Goodwill when I was about three months along, four months along, and I've continued shopping and I'm now eight months along. So it's been about four months of every week or so just going quickly scanning the aisles, seeing what they have, and occasionally I'll find something like this that's a really good deal. Speaking of Goodwill and good deals, books are a huge thing to look for at Goodwill. Um, at the Goodwill that I went to, these were 80 to 90 cents. And my mother-in-law actually helped me find some of these books. We have Dr. Seuss's ABCs, Good Night Moon, If You Buy a Mouse a Cookie. And then I actually got these. These are hardcover books that I got at the Dollar Tree here in the US. So that is only, these were a dollar each. They're hardcover, just cute little baby books um, that are Sesame Street themed. Along with the baby carrier, another thing I got at the um, Once Upon a Child thrift shop was this Bobby pillow. This was about $15. This isn't something I needed. I just thought it was really cute and it would be something that definitely made breastfeeding a little more convenient for me. Now one thing I stocked up for um, to save myself money in the long run is cloth diapers. Now a lot of people think that cloth diapers are a really expensive thing to stock up on. You're going to be spending about $300, $400 rather than just, you know, $60 for a box of diapers. With that being said, in the long run, they're going to save you a lot of money. And for me, I did not buy name brand diapers. All of these diapers, I'm going to go through and just show you a few styles here because they're really cute while I'm talking. All of these diapers were purchased on eBay for one to three dollars directly from China. So they did take about two months to arrive at my address. So if you are going to buy cloth diapers from eBay, I suggest doing so early. And these I've compared and the quality is the same as the ones that I found online. Granted, there are a couple expensive brands that you can tell are definitely a little more well made, but for the medium price brands, these are the same exact diapers. They have adjustable snaps, so you're going to be able to use them from newborn all the way to toddler. I'll go ahead and open this one up and show it to you guys. But it's very soft on the inside. It has this liner pocket here, and then the liners are also only a dollar on eBay. And because you're ordering from China, most of the Chinese sellers are selling theirs with free shipping. So you are literally getting the diaper for one to three dollars, nothing extra. So I do suggest taking a look through eBay's cloth diaper section. What I did was I just searched cloth diaper and then I limited it down to ones that were only available for buy it now, not auction, and then I did, I sorted them from price low to high, so the lowest price came up first, and you'll just see a huge selection of cloth diaper manufacturers that are getting rid of cloth diapers at a ridiculously cheap price. And of course, I stocked up on liners as well. Now another thing I bought full price here is this baby bath. 
Um, this was just something for me that was kind of a sanitation thing. I didn't really want to use a used baby bath. So I got this one that I figured they could grow into in their bathtub. It just sits in the bathtub. Has holes in it. And I think this was about $20 on Amazon. Time from Target, I picked up this little rubber ducky that has a little thing on the bottom that turns white if the water's too hot. This was only $2 at Target. Now I did buy some full price baby health items. So I got um, baby nail clippers for $5 on Amazon. I got this digital thermometer and it's one of those that you just press against the forehead which I thought was really convenient. This was $10 at Walgreens. And then I got this baby toothbrush and toothpaste set from Toys R Us and I believe this was about $5. Speaking of bath and hygiene products, there are a few more things I did buy at full price, and that is hygiene products. So I got shampoo and body wash. This is by Burt's Bees. This was one of my more expensive investments in terms of not getting the cheapest item available, but instead getting one that I thought was good quality. And because I love Burt's Bees and I use them for a lot of things, I also got their lotion, their baby powder, and their diaper cream. Also got a ton of baby washcloths. These came in sets of 12, I believe. These are from Walmart and they were $10. And then I got hooded towels and these were from Goodwill for 99 cents. So there's this really cute one that just has a duck on it. And I have a couple others, but that's just to give you an idea of another thing you can find at Goodwill. Very cheap. You'll probably find these in the store for 10 to $20. Blankets, again, are something that I got at Goodwill, just scanning throughout time. Um, there were lots of really cute ones, but these were just the ones that I picked out. These were anywhere from $0.99 cents to $3 a piece. So I got this teddy bear one, just this little green soft one with a silk back. Adorable hedgehog one that my mother-in-law found when we were shopping at Goodwill. And it has this cute little hedgehog on the side. And then a couple swaddles. There's this one that just has giraffes and elephants on it, and then just this plain green one. Also got this Velcro swaddle. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, let me see if I can get it together. Okay, so this Velcro swaddle. <laughs> that um, It's clearly been used. It's fairly worn. With that being said, it's clean. It smells fine. It's soft. So this I snatched up for 99 cents. And my mother-in-law found this burp cloth, which was 50 cents at Goodwill. These teether rings, I actually have a friend who makes these, so I bought them from her for only $3. She gave them to me at a discounted price. This I actually got on clearance from Toys R Us. Uh, it was originally around $30. I got it for $12, and I also got it with a gift card um, that I had had that I had just never used. And it's basically just this little sleep training stuffed animal. It has a nightlight on it. It plays sounds. It's just a cute little baby toy that I thought would be a nice thing to have in the nursery. And a diaper bag. A lot of people, they want the designer diaper bags. I really did, but I settled on going to Walmart and getting this one for $30. And I got it because it came with a bunch of stuff in it. It's made of this waterproof material that I feel is going to be really easy to keep clean. It came with a Diaper changing pad, white container, little storage bag, and a bottle container that's insulated and has a little handle on it so you can keep your bottle in it. It's not the most fashionable diaper bag in the world, but it's extremely functional and because it came with all those freebies, I felt like it was worth the $30 I was going to be spending on it. Speaking of freebies, you can get freebies when you are pregnant. Companies want to advertise to you. They want to send you samples. So a few great ones to look up is there is a Walmart baby box that you can just Google Walmart baby box. You can sign up for your address in. You're going to get free samples sent to your door. And then there is also a Amazon um, baby welcome box that you get when you create a registry and then spend $10. So I spent my $10 on these bottles. Bottles were something, it's definitely something you can find used at Goodwill, absolutely. But it was something that I wanted new just because I wanted to know that they had been well taken care of and were clean and the nipples didn't have any holes or anything. So I just bought bottles new. 
So I got this set for $10 and then I got my Amazon welcome box. Both the Amazon welcome box and the Walmart welcome box came with actually a free bottle. So I got two additional free bottles just for signing up for those baby boxes. Also in the baby boxes, I got tons of other things that I've saved. I have um, nipple pads for when I'm breastfeeding, all kinds of different samples of butt creams for your baby, baby wipes, baby wash samples, a set of 20 newborn size diapers. This is great, this came in the Amazon box. And this little set of hygiene products for your baby, it comes with a wipe and this is um, seventh generation brand, which I love and I use quite a bit, but it comes with all kinds of different little baby hygiene products, lotion, a diaper, wipes, things like that. And I also got this breastfeeding bar. Speaking of breastfeeding, this, along with a lot of other breastfeeding supplies, I got entirely for free. If you live in the U.S., your healthcare is required to cover a breast pump. So essentially you just need a prescription from your gynecologist and then you can go online to a bunch of different retailers and find the breast pump that your specific insurance covers and one that just fits your needs. So this retails at $340. It was covered for me by TRICARE. I ordered this through Baby Pavilion and along with that, they also sent a couple replacement parts, breast milk storage bottles, a ton of breast milk storage bags from Kind Brand, a ton more breast milk storage bags from Medela Brand, and then the last two feeding accessories that I've got. I bought this at Target for about $5, I believe, and it's just a bottle brush. And then this is a find that I was really happy with. This retails at about $20, and I got it for $2.99 from Goodwill. This is brand new, still in the box, and it's a bottle sterilizer that you put in your microwave. Essentially, you put your bottles in with some water in this sterilizer, you microwave it, and the steam sterilizes your bottles. This is one of those examples of if you just go to Goodwill, Every week or so, you look around, you're going to find some awesome deals on some baby products. Now my last two items are large, so I'm going to try to get them in the shot. The first is this stroller. I'm sure it's not fitting entirely on camera, but this I got for $35 from Once Upon a Child. It wasn't something I needed, but it was something that I liked, and the price was so affordable, I figured, why not? And lastly, is probably the most obvious item that I have here, and that is this playpen. And I got this for $60. I think it originally retailed around $90. So I do have cashback cards that I use on all of this. Target, I have my 5% debit card. Amazon, I have a 5% credit card, so I do get cashback. That helps me with savings a little bit. But this I actually got through I shopped through this app on your phone called Ibotta. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to sign up. Um, and the first time I purchased something through Target through the Ibotta app, so I had to buy this on my phone, I would get 20% cash back. So I got 20% cash back plus the 5% off on Target. And then additionally I bought it on Black Friday when it was already, I think, 10 or 20% off. If you don't want to use Ibotta, you can also use another cashback site, and I will leave the link to that below. That's called Swagbuck. And you can get between 3 and 5% cashback on baby products on that site, shopping through sites like Amazon, Target, and other places. So there are a few reasons that I bought this instead of a crib. One, it folds up. It's transportable, so this is the only thing that I'm going to need. I obviously can't take a crib when we travel. My husband is in the military, we have family all over the U.S. and we do go and see them often. So instead of worrying about finding a safe place for my baby to sleep, when we are traveling I figured having this, which can fold up into like a nice little cube, would be something that's really convenient and helpful. It also converts from a bassinet type thing, which I don't know if you can see, but 
it has the bassinet in it right now. I'm going to tip it down. So it has this bassinet attachment that will essentially let me conveniently have the newborn sleeping there until they start rolling and sitting up and then it's not going to be safe for them to be in something that shallow anymore. But starting out, I do want to have the baby in our bedroom and this is something that I can put beside the bed and then I can easily remove the bassinet part later on and it has wheels so it can be moved around and once I remove the bassinet part it turns into a playpen that I can put a mattress in and then use as their crib until they are old enough to be moved to a toddler bed. So there you have it guys. That is how I outfitted my newborn's necessities for $500. Like I said before, that is only $60 a month. This is absolutely achievable for most people. So I hope this video gave you some inspiration to budget for your own baby. Having a baby can be so scary and when I first found out I was pregnant, my biggest worry was money. I did not know how I was going to stock up on everything I needed for a child. It felt like it was going to be thousands of dollars. I was scared I was going to need to take out loans or put a bunch of money on my credit cards that I didn't want to do. But when I started budgeting and really shopping around and really looking for things, I realized that I did not have to spend a ton of money to get everything that I wanted to get for my child. If you have any tips for budgeting for a baby, I would love to hear your tips. Post them in the comment section below. I do think that there is no shame in shopping from thrift shops and goodwill for your child. There is no shame in budgeting because your little one is not going to care that they're in a 99 cent outfit from goodwill. They're going to care that that outfit is clean and they are warm and they are well fed and they are loved.